Hey, welcome back. Uh, in the previous video, we I talked about uh, checking the charge on the battery and the cells ought to be at the same voltage. Um, but what do you do when they're not at the same voltage? You need to balance the, the, the battery. Okay. Way back when, uh, when I first started the with LiPo batteries, the chargers didn't come with a balancer built in. Okay, you had to balance. You did. They didn't know better. Okay, I guess. So way back when, some inventive person um, invented what this is. It's called a blinky balancer. Okay, I bought it in 2009, I guess, because that's the date on it, and. Uh, I've used it for a long time, works great, not a problem with it. What it basically does is when you plug it into a, into a battery like this, the first thing it'll do is, uh, well, okay, I, I got an old one and I bought a new one. I bought a new one so I can carry one to the field and have one in the shop. And I don't have to worry about where it is. So I bought this one last year in 2015. And so when you plug it in, there's a black and a red and uh, end black pin it needs to be where the uh, black wire goes and you plug it in and you'll see that all three lights light up for about three seconds okay and then they start blinking okay so now two of them are blinking one steady which means that this thing is balancing by um, res through the resistance resistors, balancing the high ones down to the low ones. So it's ba balancing all three cells down to the lowest cell. So one cell is high, and um, uh, I'm sorry, one cell is low and two cells are high. So the two that are blinking are are being balanced down. Um, so we can actually take the the uh, meter and see uh, you know how far off they are so we got um, 405 399 and 408 okay for this for this battery and so the 399 is the lowest one the 408 and the 405 404 now um, is is uh, all trying to come down to the one thing this battery, one, is old, two, it's um, puffed enough that I'm going to throw it away, and so um, I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. So when this thing is, uh, if I was going to reuse this, I, after charging it, I would balance it. Part of the problem with the battery when it gets old, too, is that it won't hold the charge. It'll charge up to 42 uh, volts per cell, which is the normal, but it'll quickly, you know, as soon as you start using it, it'll drop down to 11, 6, or 8, and it just doesn't hold the charge and last very long. That's when you throw it away, to, or dispose of it properly, which I'll show you later. So, um, this battery, um, I'm also going to use to demonstrate a second charger. So, the blinky will just sit there and blink may take an hour, may take two hours, may take ten minutes. You wait till all the lights go out and then it's balanced. Set it on the shelf. It's not going anywhere. It's using a low resistance um, uh, resistors in here. It's safe just to sit and uh, blink at you for several uh, minutes to hours, whatever it takes. So, um, uh, tried and true. Love it. This is what I use all the time. This just came out. It's a, um, a checker and balancer. Okay, it's got no name on it. Came from China, I'm sure. Made in China. Got a set of instructions that are reasonable, but still no name on it. Um, not not the best written, but it's readable. And so, how does it work? Well, it's got um, connectors here for all the battery sizes. So I'll take this battery. Plug the the balance the balance port into it, okay, and it's a three cell battery. And so what you're going to see is all three cells and their value on one screen. That's nice, okay. 
So the top one says 406 or 7 in that range. The middle one says 4.00 and the, other, the third one says uh, 405 with a total down here at the bottom which is uh, 12 1. Okay. So um, before I dispose of this battery I'm going to discharge it com uh, down to uh, 0 and I'll explain how you dispose of batteries in a minute. But so if you want to um, balance this, here's what you do. So it's well out of balance, too far out of balance for, for actually using, and you would want to balance this before you charge it. So I could stick it on the blinky balancer and probably wait several hours because it's well out of balance, or I can press this button here called balance, okay, and you can see that the display is showing a balance uh, thing there and uh, it's showing that you know two light bulbs beside the high ones indicating those are blinking like the blinky does and those two cells are being discharged so it's doing exactly the same thing this is this doesn't tell you the voltage but you just after whatever eight ten years of using this thing um, uh, I know what it's doing because, you know, I check it with my checker. And um, so this thing is just going to sit here and blink for I don't know how long, but it'll sit there and blink until the three cells are in balance. So that's what it does. And I can cancel that. I'm going to cancel the mode. So I'm going to hit the cancel button there. So now that it's canceled, it's no longer balancing. And I can unplug it. So balancing is important. Uh, you should have some type of balancer outside of the balance board on your charger because, and this ranges anywhere from probably 8 to $18. There's a wide range. This recently came out. I hadn't seen these last year, but I've seen them this year. So it's anywhere from 8 to $18 from on where you find them. The blinking balancer, tried and true, made in America. And uh, it's thirty-two dollars, but well worth it. I uh, I trust that. This one I'm experimenting with. So far, I like it. Seems to work okay. I've been taking it to the field every day. We'll see how well it works. So get something to balance. The Blinky works great. Thirty-two dollars. This one okay. Seems to be working okay. Half the price, maybe. I I paid fifteen dollars for this one, and but I have since found them for less. And there will be a stiff competition on them. And because somebody invented this, there's going to be more out there. And so the competition will uh, drive the price down. So again, uh, make sure your um, batteries are balanced before you charge them. After the charge, don't assume that they're balanced. Check them with your uh, LiPo checker again. If they're out of balance, stick it on a blinky or stick it on this and balance it. I like it to be within... 0.02. If it's more than if, if it's point, more than 0 0.02 between cells, balance it. Okay, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.